Romanov. <laughs> From one former SEAL agent to another. <laughs> I've learned a few tricks since we last met. Oh yeah? Here's one. I'm kicking your ass! The base of the bridge is secure! Trying to piece it together? You giving up? Not a chance! <laughs> <laughs> 
So, where has your investigation left you? That you're not the brains behind this. And this smells like distraction. I'm done talking! <laughs> Coward! What's the matter? Don't like surprises? <laughs> Saw that coming, huh? You think you've won? What the hell are you talking about? Look around, Romanov. The world will remember this day. The day their heroes failed them. <clears throat> What's happening here? The city's collapsing. Us. Steve, can you hear me? Get the hell out of there! Beta. Screw this. Ago, the Avengers paraded dangerous, untested technology causing damage on an unprecedented scale. Our beloved Captain America was killed during the attempted theft of this technology. Thousands of other innocent people died, and many more still bear the scars of what has come to be known as A Day. Hundreds fell sick, encased in strange cocoons, only to emerge with dangerous, otherworldly powers. With no known cure, the disease has spread across the country, and while both S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Avengers promised to rectify the situation, it was Dr. Banner's testimony that brought about the end of an era. You so-called heroes transformed San Francisco into an infectious, gas-filled quarantine zone. You unleashed diseased, powerful beings that wreak havoc throughout our nation. Many still lay dormant, unidentified. So I ask you again, Dr. Banner, do the Avengers pose a danger to society? Yes. Their activities outlawed, the once mighty heroes disbanded. But out of tragedy is born hope. After the government liquidation of Stark Industries, Dr. George Tarleton, himself a victim of A-Day and founder of Advanced Idea Mechanics, thinks science is the solution to our nation's problems. I wish I knew what happened to Captain Rogers that day but I was nowhere near the reactor room. I don't have those answers, but I can promise you this. I will use this second chance to make you safe. AIM will find a cure for the inhuman disease. Comforting words to those families torn apart by the disease. But is he too confident? Many criticize AIM's tactics. This so-called resistance army grows stronger every day. This is Phil Sheldon reporting live at the A-Day anniversary. Can't see the revolution right under their noses. Come on. Where'd you guys go? There's gotta be a clue here somewhere. 